Greetings of the day. My name is Ms. Prachi Vani. And today we will start with this very interesting quote, which says, I have learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So today we are going to talk about service encounters because how you treat your customer is extremely important in any business. Before we proceed towards understanding what service encounter is, let us understand a little bit about service sector in India. Service sector is the largest recipient of foreign direct investment, which is FDI with inflow of US dollar 82 billion in between April 2000 and March 2020. So now when the customer interacts with the service firm, it is called as moments of truth. Every service encounter that happens is an opportunity to build satisfaction. So a service encounter is defined as the period of time that a customer interacts with a service. So let's understand what is wow moment. I'm sure we all have heard about creating wow moment when we are in service industry. So from the customer's point of view, the most vivid impression of service occurs in the service encounters or moment of truth is when the customer interacts with the service firm. Now, this is the foundation to satisfaction of service quality, and this is where the promises are kept or broken. So we have to understand one negative encounter can drive the customer away. No matter how many positive encounters you have created in the past. So any firm will have to give a lot of importance to such encounters to make sure that the customers are satisfied. Most services are results of direct contact between the customer and the service provider. Now at this stage, the customer realizes the perceived service quality. Not all encounters are equally important in building long term relations, but they do contribute to some extent. We will understand the types of encounters very soon. For every organization, certain encounters can act as a key to customer satisfaction. So this is what we have to study as an organization, which encounter we have to adopt and work on it. We have been talking about moment of truth. Let's understand when did this begin? Now, Mr. Richard Norman, he's the one who invented the conceptual framework of moment of truth. He borrowed this idea from bullfighters who use the term to describe the moment when the bullfighters face the bull in the ring. He realized that in spite of all the training, a wrong move can result in a disaster. Mr. Norman states that when this occurs, what happens is no longer directly influenced by the company, but it is the skill, motivation, tools employed by the firm's representative. Subsequently, Scandinavian airlines adopted it as a part of their everyday language, which they called as a moment of truth. Jan Carlson, the former chief executive of the Scandinavian airline system, used the moment of truth metaphor as a reference point of transforming the entire operation, which was business driven to customer driven. This was the time when a link was established in between human resource and marketing in service organization.
let us understand what is encounter cascade now the encounter cascade refers to a series of encounters right from the time a customer comes to take the service the encounter cascade can be important as any encounter can be critical as it determines the customer's satisfaction and loyalty so all these interactions which are happening have to be given importance as they're critical and they will influence customers perception of the organization product service or anything that is in the market to sell let's begin with understanding types of encounters so there are three types of encounters here the first one is called as remote encounter then we have phone encounter and face to face encounter let's start with remote encounters now as the name says remote these encounters can happen without any direct human contact so remote encounter is when a customer interacts with a bank through the atm system or when the firm sends its billing statements or communicates with any other type of information to customers either by using mail or by sending a hard copy although there is no direct human contact in these remote encounters but each represents an opportunity to a firm to support or establish perception in the customer's mind in remote encounter the tangible evidence of the service and the quality of the technical process system becomes the primary basis for judging quality service are, services are being delivered through technology particularly with the introduction of internet retail purchases airline ticketing repair and maintenance troubleshooting package and shipment tracking are just a few examples of services available via the internet let's talk about phone encounters in many organizations the most frequent type of encounter is between a customer and the firm which occurs over the telephone although all firms rely on phone encounters in the form of customer service general inquiry problem solving or order taking functions the judgment of quality in phone encounter is different from remote encounters because there is a greater potential in the interaction that is going to happen so the tone of voice employee knowledge effectiveness or efficiency in handling customer issues will become important criteria for judging quality in these encounters the third type of encounter is face to face encounter this encounter happens in between an employee and a customer in direct contact so in face to face encounters interactions happens in between customers or maintenance personnel or a receptionist and a delivery boy or actual service providers in face to face encounters the customers also play an important role in creating quality service for herself through his or her own behavior during the interaction in a business to business setting direct encounters occur between the business customers and sales people or delivery personnel maintenance representatives or professional consultants now let us understand common themes to identify the sources of customer satisfaction or dissatisfaction so we have four common theories here or themes here the first one is recovery or to recover here employees response to service delivery failure is important 
So in case of failure in service delivery system, an employee is required to handle the customer and their problems or issues that they're facing. Adaptability, her employee's response to customer need and request is extremely important. So service firm is able to adapt its delivery system when needs to when needs are not met. Spontaneity, unpromptness and unsolicited employees action. Here employees response is extremely important when they are delivering the service. Now that response can be a happy response or a sad response or a rude response. And the last one is coping. Employees response to a problem customer. In some cases, customers do not cooperate. This is when a service provider needs to react in a very professional way and a gentle way. Let's quickly revise the types of encounter. This is a type of remote encounter. This is face to face encounter. And this is a phone encounter. Hope you have watched the video carefully. Now the quiz link for this video is in the video description. Please go ahead and attempt the quiz. This is my reference site. And on that note, thank you so much and we will see you very soon.